Yo, what up guys? It's your boy Neil and in this video, we'll be tackling animation. Alright, so let's get right into it. Okay, so ito yung ginawa ating character last time and ayos na yung envelopes niya. If we go into wait mode, nakikita na natin. And yung mga poles pala na ginawa natin, yung poles and yung controls na ginawa natin, dapat wala silang um, uh, weight. Dapat din nila maapektuhan yung skin kasi ang kakontrol din nila is yung bones. Um, quickly, let's do that. Yun na lang pala muna. So, let's go back to object mode and then select the bones. Um, bale, um, uh, yeah, okay. So, select the controller first and then select the forearm. And then you can press control, blah. <laughs> you can press, what? We can press shift I para mag-add ng inverse kinematics. Or you can go to bone constraints and then add inverse kinematics here okay so let's do that shift i to active bone okay so ang nagawa nito actually is um if you're familiar with inverse kinematics let's explain that real quick okay so ang normal kasi is um ang normal na kinemat na kinematics is well normal kinematics forward kinematics okay so basically kung gusto nyo for example uh, pumunta dito alright what happened <laughs> okay and so for example for example brush gusto nyo pumunta dito alright jaan uh, um Pupunta kayo dyan, galing sa starting position nyo na dito. Okay? Um, forward kinematics is, from, and given kayo kunwari ng arm, na ganito yung size. Okay? So, sa ano? Sa so forward kinematics, ang gagawin nyo is, um, from here, from sa location nyo, kukumpitin nyo um, yung angle na tong arm na to and yung distance niya, well, actually yung angle niya, yung rotation niya, uh, papunta doon sa destination. Okay? Yun yung normal na forward kinematics, kaya siya forward. Uh, inverse kinematics naman is from this location, from this point, um, kumbaga magbabacktrack na siya. Huhul, uh, hindi naman hulaan, pero kukumpitin, kukumpitin niya yung tamang rotation or angle nung, nung uh, bones nyo uh, para yung end point niya is nakatutok doon sa destination. Okay? If you don't understand that, uh, kung hindi nyo masyadong mag-grasp yung idea, uh, basically, um, it's, it's a shortcut sa world ng animation. Okay? What? Nag-crash yung paint. What? <laughs> Whatever. Don't, don't restart it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't restart it. Don't worry. Okay, so, anyways, um, chain length, basically, uh, adjust mo lang yung length ng kung ano yung affected na parts. Okay? So, ayan siya. Huwag natin siya paabutin sa shoulder. So, ayan. So, kapag to lang, uh, basically, from... <laughs> Tatawa ako. Uh, yeah, okay. Anyways. Uh, yung pull target naman... Uh, let's go, wait, name natin yung ating armature, rug armature, um, oops, ka, 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 character, Adam, <laughs> character, armature, alright, so, okay, so, armature, and then elbow pole R. Wait. Uh, restart muna natin lahat. Uh, reset pala by pressing Alt, G, R, S. And, ang gagawin niya lang is, i-reset niya yung location, rotation, and scale ng bones. So, kung mapansin niyo nakaikot siya. Let's adjust it. Adjust the pole angle. So... Elbow R. Okay. I got an idea. Let's rotate these. Kabaliktad pala. Um, pivot point natin. Gawin natin individual points para magro-rotate lang sila sa mga points nila. So, let's rotate it by 180 degrees. Slap it natin siya. So, yeah. That's enough. 
Ayan, para mas maganda sa tingnan. Okay. So, ayun. So, mapansin nyo, nag, ano nag-apply tayo ng inverse kinematics, gumagalaw na uh, isang bone lang yung gagalawin nyo, then susunod na yung ibang bones. So, basically, yung end point na sinasabi ko kanina is ito, kung nasaan yung ating vertices. So, pag binumove nyo siya, hindi na natin kailangan i-animate itong mga bones na nandito. Yun ang akonek sa kamay niya. Kasi, um, automatic na nakapag sinabi kong dito yung end point, ito yung end point, Um, if you figure out ng blender kung, na, kung saan ito nakaharap, ano yung rotation niya dapat along sa pivot niya. So, yun yung inverse kinematics. Instead na pag forward kinematics na i-move, i-move natin ito, tapos i-move natin, oops, tapos i-move natin ito, tapos i-move natin ito. Okay? So, tedious siya. So, kailangan natin ng inverse kinematics para mas mapadali yung trabaho natin. Alright? So, let's reset again. So, yeah. There's that. And then, okay na yung pole. Uh, I think hindi natin siya kailangan. Yan, yeah, hindi natin siya kailangan ayusin yung angle niya. Alright. So, itong pole naman gagawa niya is, uh, ito basically kung saan nakaharap yung elbow natin. Uh, useful siya, for example, kung gusto natin siyang mag-point forward. So, uh, lagay natin forward yung kamay natin. And kapag nagpo-point forward ka, yung elbow nyo is nakatutok sa, well, point forward. Then, then yung elbow nyo medyo nakatutok sa upper right nyo. So, medyo dito siya nakatutok. Medyo taas. Ganyan. Okay, pa nagpo-point kayo forward. Let's move this. Ganyan. Alright. So, yun yung ginagawa nitong pole. And if you want, pwede nyo pandagdagan yung chain length para sumama yung shoulder. Ayan, para medyo OA lang. Ganun. <laughs> OA lang eh, no? Diba? So, let's... Asan yung control? Ah, dun sa likod. Alright. So, let's... Uh, sama ko ba ba yung shoulder? Yeah, I think mas maganda yung sama natin shoulder. Alright? So, let's do that. So, chain length natin is 4 na. So, from he... Wait, na-reset ko ba lahat? Yep. So, yeah, it's 3. 3 kasi from here. From here, you have... Ah! You have 1, 2, and 3. Papunta dun sa kung saan man siya nakatutok. Ayun na. Alright? So, gawin din natin siya dito sa isa pa. Select the bone, the controller, and then the forearm, shift I, and then 3, then armature, pole left. Okay, so mukha namang hindi umikot yung bone. So, okay. Oops. So, okay na siya. You can test it out na lang para sigurado. Wait. Hindi naman siya nakaikot na. Yeah, hindi siya nakaikot. Okay. Next, sa paa naman. One more thing na ginagawa ko is, uh, hindi ko kinoconnect to. So, let's go to edit mode. And alisin natin yung connect. Uh, <laughs> yan. Para pag nirotate niya siya, yung paa lang mismo yung gagalaw. Alright. So, yeah. Ganyan. So, let's select our foot controller. Then, yung ating leg. Shift I. And then, for our purposes, sama natin yung hip. So, 3 then. And then, sa pole, let's add knee. Knee pole, right? Ayan. So, ang kapansin nyo, nakarotate siya. So, bagoy natin yung pole angle natin hanggang sa nakaharap na yung paa. Alright, so, yeah, tingnan natin kung dapat pa ba natin isama yung hip. Let's move this. Same goes, yung knee pole natin is kung saan na din nakatutok yung pole. I mean yung knee, kung saan nakatutok yung knee. So, yeah, I don't think kailangan na nat kailangan pa nating isama yung to ka. <laughs> yung ating hips din natin. Let's add this tree. Yeah, hindi na natin isama. Okay, so to lang ang ating chain length. Same goes sa kabilang side naman. Um shift I and then go to armature. And the knee pole left. Add this tree. And then, kung hindi naman siya nakarotate, ito pala. Kung hindi siya nakarotate, then we're good. 
Okay, so that's actually finishing the rigging part. Uh, well, prior to the animation. <laughs> okay, so check nyo na rin yung ulo. Dapat ulo lang yung gagalaw. Uh, rotate it. Whoops, putol. Uh, yeah, alright. So that's it for this video. And uh, so next one, yeah, animate natin siya. Uh, Gawa tayo ng simpleng walking cycle and running cycle, idle animation, ano pa ba, ba? Um, hit, kapag tinamaan siya, and iba pang animations na may isin natin. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you!